Hi guys. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay. Hey Kim. Hey, all right. We'll give a few moments for people to start jumping on. I wish I had some music for the background. I apologize if you hear my dog go in the background. He is currently chomping on his ball. And then we can go ahead and start unboxing the enclosure we're going to decorate. So we are going to do the Tarantula Crib Small Tree House. So I did do a poll on uh, Instagram. Uh, for those that do not follow me on there, feel free to jump over onto my Instagram. I do polls for any lives. Um, that's where I just I post all my stuff with the spiders, with stuff that go in the enclosures that we make on our Etsy. So, hey Brad. Um, so yeah, so the majority of you guys had voted to do the treehouse, which is one of my favorites, so I am down for this. For those that had voted for the bottom opening enclosure, um, we may be actually be able to do that for live tomorrow. I do have another idea for another enclosure, and I wanted to feature some other pieces, um, including a hide that is not one that I personally made, but I want to spotlight another Etsy seller that I support. So look out for that for tomorrow. Hey, Amy. All right. Right. We got our small tree house from Tarantula Cribs. So this one is one that opens on the front so this will be a good one to decorate so this is a small and the medium is a little bit larger so this is a four by four for the width and depth um when you get to the mediums are about six by six and i forget what the height is on this so it's on it if you go to his website he has all the details on there all right so first thing we want to do so the theme that we're going with is a plant theme, and that's mainly because I want to feature um, a few different things for the enclosure. So I have my window ledge that I want to put in here. And then as I'm sitting here, I realize I don't think I have my succulent hide. I might have Alan go and grab one for me. But essentially, this is the hanging version. Oops, not on the screen. So I'm going to do the non-hanging version in here. Oh, I know why. Because I gave that to Charlie. Charlie has that now, the one that I had over here. So I'll have Alan grab that for me. So in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and get decorating. So first thing I want to do is lay down, I like for the substrate for all mine, is to lay down reptile safe moss. This I get from Southern Agricultural, it's just online. Um, it comes in rolls, and the back of it has this paper sheet that you can pull off. And on the back side, I'll do it right now. On the back side, it's kind of like a netting. It's a little tacky, but not enough to, like, I think, stay permanently adhered um, to your enclosure. So I usually do hot glue this down, but it keeps all the moss intact. So first things first, now this is tricky with the tree house, with like any of the ones that are uh, like the switches where you can remove the tops a little bit easier, but I have figured out a little bit of finagling for this of how we can get this moss inside and essentially what I'm going to be doing 
So once I glue this down in here, is I'm going to fold this and we're going to slide it in and try to pop it down in. And that is where it should fit in here. Let's get this back out. All right. And these are pre cut, but what I like to do. Um, since I do a variety of different enclosures, is I have templates. So I size up all the different uh, enclosures that I do. I label them. Um, so I got some of the tarantula cribs. I got some big fat fids, the mini dens. Um, the These are the bottom opening enclosures. So some even for like the backings. I uh, size those up. So this is how I keep track of everything so I'm not constantly having to resize this. So this is already pre-cut, ready to go. Um, and then those that are local, I do sell these in DIY kits that are for sale at, usually vend over at Scott Smith's Animal Expo. So we do have these available to purchase. So if you're wanting to decorate your own enclosure, I will have these available. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead, hot glue. I use the high temp. This is the Gorilla Glue hot glue. All right. Let's try doing this without burning myself. No guarantees. All right. Perfect. All right. I'm just going to pat this down. All right. Make sure I didn't get any a little bit of glue on the track. I think these can peel off pretty easily. All right. So for the plant theme, I'm kind of thinking like a greenhouse type feel. I wanted to use some of my web ribbon too, which I really like. Um, I fear I can glue these in. I truly, you guys, I kind of just grabbed stuff and figured we'll figure out on stream how I'm going to decorate. So this will be, we're going to just see how this turns out. <laughs> All right. I think I'll start to figure out where everything's laying out. So again, here's the window ledge that I have available on my Etsy. So I think I'm going to put that in the back here. Hey, Alan, can you grab a succulent planter? I mean, you wanted a bit. I forgot I gave the other one to Charlie. Okay. Do I magnetize? Mm -hmm. oh, awesome. Thank you. All right, guys. So here is the succulent planter that I'm going to use in here. And we got magnetic on the back. This is one of my favorites that I designed. I have it where it peeks through. So that way, this is just kind of a lesson learned that I had for one of my spiders that was gravid that she held up in a, it was a cauldron. And while I love my cauldrons, I couldn't see into the hide. So I couldn't tell that she actually had babies in there. So this is kind of cool because you have to peek through to see what your spider is doing. Now, oh, isn't this like an awesome? I love it. Um, yes, in YOLO. Yeah, that is basically about right for this. Another new thing I want to feature too is. We have a new shelf that is magnetic that we'll put in here. I literally just listed this on Etsy, so it is available now. Um, but we just hot off the printer as of us getting home. Um, so it is available on there. But I thought this was cool because we can get, I have some little planters that we can put on here. Give some of that maybe greenery type feel. So let's do that right now. These are available undecorated, but a lot of these things that I get, I've gotten from like Timu, from AliExpress. Um, I'm sure they have it on Amazon, probably for a little bit more though. 
I'm going to go towards the yellow one. Those are going to be yellow. Maybe the purple. We uh, the succulent has a ring shape to it. I can't stop thinking of that if you <laughs> if you like it, then put a finger on it, put a ring on it. Yep. I like that. I think it's cup cupcakes. Alright, I really like the purple. That's the one that I want to go with. So I am going to go ahead and hot glue. So again, this is the Gorilla Glue hot glue. Let's put a dollop on there. Go ahead and place that on here. Push it down. All right. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my God, I love this. I might be doing this shelf on a lot more of my enclosures. All right. So this kind of helps me see. Oh, let me lower it down. You see exactly kind of like where I'm wanting things placed because I'm going to start placing things down on the bottom too. And I know with our arboreal species for jumping spiders, they're really going to be hanging out up at the top, but. I like to have the stuff down on the bottom that are pretty. Um, it is good to leave some space. I'm finding more. Um, so if you have to like to put a deli cup in there or anything like that to help feed your spiders, um, that is helpful. And this window ledge does have an opening in it on the bottom. So if you're wanting to feed your spiders that way, I am not going to do that. I'm actually going to show you guys a different thing that I like kind of what I saw with this is that while I have that little feeder area, you can also decorate it. So we are going to get, let's see. I'm going to grab, I have some little floral greenery pieces. Go ahead and cut those. Kind of place them in here, see how they look. And we have two different colors. So let's do two different colors, get pop of color in there. With some good contrasting colors. I'll do another one of the light ones. I love these. I think I got these also um, on Probably Timu. I got I get a lot of my like small little decor on Timu. You can also do AliExpress, you can do Amazon. I really haven't seen them anywhere else, like as far as like hobby stores. Okay. So you have like little succulents in there, like little bushes. Are you gonna have you need to glue some flowers in the yeah, well I'm flowers. Should I do some flowers, Leah? I have small ones. I have the bigger ones. All right, let's play with this. You're not wrong. It's a good idea. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to at least get, I know I want these two layer ones on the sides. Neat. Dollar Store might have some stuff. I need to explore the dollar store a lot more. I am such an online shopper that I don't often think of it. So that might be an adventure I have to do. All right. So I have that in there. Maybe instead of the dark one, we'll do the purple. Let's do that instead. I do like that. Good ideas. See, I like the collaboration. I like hearing what other people think too. And it comes together really pretty. So thank you. There, some good little pop of color. Thank you, what Kim. I love this. It's awesome. So, all right, we're gonna pop this back in here. A snap of that magnet. My goodness, we use really strong magnets, guys, for our stuff. So I like how that looks with the window box. Oh, it's terribly cool. And the thing that I love about this window. So this is actually, I will give credit to my husband on this because I originally was just going to put like a block back here, kind of like what we do with like our other hides. And he decided to complete it out to make it look like a full window. And I just absolutely adore this. So that way, 
it just looks like an actual house perfect for the tree house all right so i have this little bench here that i want to put in strong my bowl yeah for real all right i got this little wooden bench in here what else do i want to put in come on let me look through all my little pieces that I have. Where did I wanted to do? Was ribbon. Where did I put my ribbon? Okay. So I'm thinking if we put some of the ribbon going down on the sides here. And I have, these are just scrap pieces that I had that I'm just going to reuse. I really try so hard to like any little bits and bobs that I have, save them. I mean, I have a whole container of them and I often find that little pieces I'll still use to decorate for decor, for like for the enclosures, for playgrounds. You never know what you're going to use and saves you just a little bit of money. Lincoln Logs. Yeah, they do look like Lincoln Logs. Oh yeah, this is another one I think I got from Timu. All right. I'm going to take out the succulent planter so I don't ruin that while I try to glue this in. So I'm just going to tack a little bit of glue on one of the corners. I do sell this ribbon on my Etsy store. I saw it over at the expo. Um, and we do sell it with some magnet holders. Um, not just like the magnets themselves, but like they're actually in the retainers, kind of what we do with the... Um, whatchamacallit, the hides and all of our 3D prints. There we go. All right, let me do one more piece on the bottom. So I'm just, since I only have little pieces on here, just piecing together and honestly, you wouldn't even know the difference. Nor will the spider. The spider won't care. This is really just for us guys. I'd like to think that they really love all the decor that we put in there, but I don't really think they care. So the fact that there's so many of the hides that I love and I put so much time and effort in the designs and they go and decorate their enclosures with their hammocks outside of them. So it's just for us guys. All the fun things. And it's okay. This is what we find joy in, right? There we go. All right, so we got that. That's something that I did, and then a custom piece that I really like to do that I am going to do on this one. Grabbing some of the little leaves that I have, just gonna pop off some of the lighter colors on here and decorate that web ribbon, kind of making it look viney. Owners are allowed to enjoy, yes, they are allowed to enjoy the aesthetics. I guess we do that with dogs too and cats, right? All right, so I'm just gonna glue a little bit here. A little bit trickier. As we're starting to give some like little vine effects. Do another one. Yeah, I still I still like that too, Kim. Usually with my designs, there's so many people that have so many different like aesthetics and feels that they have for their enclosures. This one's very aligned with mine where I don't do bioactive. I decided that eventually I will do um just like no now. <laughs> um and I like the fact that I can get the reptile safe moss in here. I do use reptile safe moss, guys. Like I I've seen many people that have used the craft moss and stuff that you get over at Hobby Lobby and Michael's like that's great for crafts. 
but for enclosures for jumping spiders or just pets in general, it's not necessarily safe. Um, and I think this is, it's up for debates for some people, but I've seen some posts where um, with people misting the moss, they, the craft stores do dye the moss. So the dyes with misting them will make the dyes basically run off the moss. You can wash them and soak, like, and, like, dry out the moss so that way it gets off most of the dyes. I'd rather play it safe and not do that and just stick with some reptile safe preserved moss. So this one has been really my tried and true that I've used for all of my personal spiders. So anything that I do with my enclosures, I make sure that it's stuff that I test out in my own enclosures too. Um, just because I, I want to make sure that I can see how things last, if there's any issues that I can address right away that I don't have to worry about with the customer and that they're having any issues. All right, last leaf. Put them on the bottom. All right. What do you think, guys? Miss the most. Miss the moss the most. That's a tongue twister if I ever heard one. All right. I'm going to put the second one back up here. That's fine. So here it is with the height up there. All right. Still thinking on this. I do want this bunch in here, I think, but I just don't know what the space because I wanted to have this little log that I want to put in here. Let me see where I'm going to put that. I want to get some more of these little planters in there. Oh, I know what I want to do too. So I got these little ceramic planters. And one of the things I really like that I did in the enclosure. I had to post a picture on Instagram, but Charlie has one up in her um, enclosure. And I put some moss down on the bottom here, and I just kind of tucked it in a corner, and she was perched so cute on top of it. I love it. So I want to do the same. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit. It has some, again, spare moss. Can't go wrong. See, and all the little cuttings. And you can do this. You don't even have to do it with the sheet moss. You can do it. There's the bagged moss that you can get over at pet stores and whatnot. You can do it that way. But I, since I have this on hand, I think I'm going to use that. Also, because I don't know where my other moss went to. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the inside here. This enclosure is actually going to be for sale. So the one, I'm going to do another live probably tomorrow. Um, and that one tomorrow will be mine. That one I do have um, a specific theme that I want to do that I want to keep for myself. This one, I think I want to sell over at Scott's or on Etsy. So after the stream, I will take photos of it and I will list it on Etsy. And if it is not sold, by the expo, I will have this available at Scott Smith's All Animal Expo in St. Charles. So you have multiple opportunities to get this if you need it. That was a good question, Amy. I was I shouldn't get multiple uh, or more spiders. I have hundreds of them now because we have now three, three clutches of spiders. And Pepper literally just laid another egg sack yesterday. I will bring them down just a little bit so I can showcase them to you. But yes, I don't need any more spiders, but we'll see about one more. Oh, oh, oh I'll wipe right myself. There you go. See, it's bound to happen. Clean up some of the glue that just got stuck on there. Right. All 
So let's see where we want to put this. I think I want to get back in the corner. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I know for sure I want to get that in that corner. That looks super cute. And I'm going to put some foliage around it. I'm just pressing down on it, making sure it cools, secures down to the enclosure. There we go. The little burn is okay. Man. Oh yeah, with the snippers. So the amount of times I have burned myself, and I've done it not even just on my fingers, I've done it on the sides of my arms where it's just fallen, it's knocked over into my arm. I'm just a klutz. It is just bound to happen. All right, so I also have these cute little flowers. And I'm going to try to sprinkle around. I put that one in that window box. We're going to do some more. Those clippers, though, Kim, I swear they are the best that I've used for cutting wire. Um, and multiple, like, for, like, flowers and all that. Or these enclosures. It was my husband's. I may have acquired it. <laughs> As he chuckles. As you, you guys don't know, but he is right now behind me making sure everything's going good for the the stream. For those that don't know or maybe new to who I am, what I do, so this is, you know, we got Spooky Sweet Spoon is our company and it is really husband-wife duo. So I do a lot of the design work and then my husband is basically our manufacturer. So he helps me get all the stuff printed and magnetized. So anything that you guys received is really stuff that he has printed for me. These are the designs I do 100%. Um, so it's all very uniquely designed by myself. I use 3D programs to get these designed. Um, so really I do put my heart and soul into this design for you guys. For the spiders, I try to think the best for the spiders. All the way. All right. What else do I want to put in here? What do you do? You want to get that log in there? All right. So this is where I start to just kind of decorate the bottom. Get some of the bigger pieces in first. That way, then I can just add some foliage around to. Give it that green, greenery type feel to it, some life to it. There we go. So we got the log in here, we got the planter. It's starting to come together. Um, all right, I got these little sprigs of green. Oh, Amy, thank you. I really appreciate that. I do. I put a lot of heart and soul into these designs. I get a lot and truly, I get a ton of feedback. I get a ton of ideas from other people. So that is just something cool with communities that we all have different ideas um, and things that you guys want to do too. Like it's not just things that I want to create. There's some stuff that I make that have been ideas streamed by others. And actually the succulent is one of them. Um, I'm part of a Facebook group on uh, for DIY uh, enclosures. And this succulent hide idea came from Melissa, one of the admin on that group. And I kind of ran with it. She wanted it to be the hanging planter. And so I did two variations where I could do the hanging plus one that's more stagnant. Um, so it's, it's something that I get ideas from other people too, and it's just amazing. Get this little guy down here since I already cut him. A little bit of justice. I'm gonna get it down by the log. Should probably use tweezers to help with this too, but yeah. 
Okay. You can see I'm just starting to, oops, starting to add some little sprigs of green down by the log to fill it up a little bit, give it some life. Um, I do, I use these guys on a lot of my decorations for uh, playgrounds and for enclosures. I have one of my guys, I'll actually pull him out, he's right next to me. So this is my guy, this is Lemon. So fun story with him, and I'm going to be probably posting an actual video on him just because there's a little bit of story to it, but essentially we found him while we were packing up at Scott Smith's Animal Expo. Just a random, he's a gray wall jumper spider, and um, he was wild. He was just roaming around, but very skinny. So we nabbed him, and I was like, well, I'm going to make you at home. We're going to feed you, spoil you. And so he's been in here. And then what I did with the little sprig in here is I actually glued it up at the top and have it hanging down. And he likes to go in here during the day and just hang out by the leaves. It's really cute. So, but right now he's just perched up, not even in his silk hide that I gave him. He is on, on the side, made his hammock. He's quite happy there. So this is a lemon. These are Scott Smith's uh, wild-caught spider that I'm not spoiling. Um, all right. So let's see if we can still fit this guy in here. Now that I started filling this up more, I may not be able to. Dang it. Okay. We work with it. That's okay. What else do I have to in here? I do have this little guy in here. I don't know if I want to put that in there for this enclosure if I save it for another one. I think I'm going to save it for another one. Haha, -ha, I know what I can do. So I have some of these lavender pieces. <laughs> I know. I love the fact that we just found them too. He was literally, we had boxes on the table, we were packing up stuff, and he just starts crawling. My husband's like, oh my god, it's a spider. I was like, it's Jumper! <laughs> Quick, grab him! And so we managed to nab him, get him into an enclosure that I happened to have out available. I think it was actually a tarantula cribs uh, sling enclosure, the uh, canopy one. And then I got home and I decorated another enclosure for him because as much as I love him, I did not want him in the can canopy one because we, we do sell tarantula crib enclosures at the expo. So I was like, I'm not ready for you to actually have this home. We'll get you into one of the others. So I decorated that one up for him and he's been there since then. All right, so I'm going to do this cute, like, lavender. I think we'll do that in the corner instead of that bench. So this might be one that I need to use. Let me get some grease. And let's see how this looks. Maybe be a little bit tricky, but we'll do it. And these tweezers are literally ones that I use for the bugs. I have multiples of these. But they're good to have on hand for crafting as well. I'm just going to set this in the corner, get it upright, and just let it cool down. That's okay. It's falling. All right. Do you guys have any good plans this weekend? We're going to be heading over to, we're going to actually be a shopper at an expo tomorrow. We're going to the Cold Blooded Expo. It's in Chicago, I guess. They're, well, not Chicago, they're, it's in Crystal, Crystal Lake. Um, but we're going to be going to that just to browse. Some of our vendor friends are over there, so we're going to go see them. Um, then, oh my god, 
does not stand like I hoped it would. All right. Okay, push down a little bit more in it. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna go shopping there and have fun with that. Don't tell the hot glue to make a joke. <laughs> no. But yeah, the tweezers did help, but hot glue is part of it still too. Alright. What else do I want to put in here? Try to just look around and see what I got. I have some of these purple foliage things too. Let's piece this out. What I'll do is just take parts of this. That's cute because it has like a little bit of purple to it. It has a little bit on the leaves. So we're definitely sticking with like a green and purple theme here, guys. But I'm not complaining. I really like it. I guess purple really doesn't work my branding, so I'm really sticking true to that one. Alright. So I'm gonna put that. Let's see how it's back here. If it's too much, that might be too much. This is why this is how crafting goes, actually. Just things may not work out the way you want to. Corey, hey! I was wondering if you're going to hop on. So, this is what we've got so far. I figure out what else I want to add in that corner. I am not liking it so far. There's like one thing that I just miss. Oh, you know what? I put one of the planters over there. Oh, I know what I have. I have a little wicker basket looking piece. You can put that in there. And then maybe what I can do is find some foliage to put in there. What do I have? I used up some of my good pieces, guys. Shoot. Can I just do one of the flowers? I think we'll do a few of the flowers, just kind of piece them together. It leaves a little friend like a ceramic stone looking frog. I do need something like that. I don't know if I have any like actual like little like things like that that would go with this. I have axolotls. That doesn't quite go with this theme. What else do I have? I have a lot of character stuff. Everyone really likes like all like the Mario stuff and all that that I use for playgrounds. So I have a lot of those. <laughs> what I do have, but I don't know if I want to give this up. This one was given to me by a friend. A little crystal jumping spider. Cory, Harry Potter themed. Yes, eventually we're going to get to that. I need to actually get, I had looked at some uh, uh, figurines that I found online. I just had not purchased them yet. Eventually we will be. So, Harry Potter fans, what houses are you guys? I am a Hufflepuff. I am not surprised by this. What houses are you guys? All right, we're just doing a cluster of flowers in this basket. And I am happy with this. So puffy, right? So puff. I love that all of you guys are Hufflepuffs. This makes me so happy. I found out, this was a few years ago, my brother, my youngest brother, was a Slytherin. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> like, you did, like, the whole quiz and everything like that. I was like, how did you become a Slytherin? Like, I did not expect that one. There we go. That's what that corner needed. Oh, she's one as well. Good. It's a good Hufflepuff house. Yeah, that basket is so much what it needed. All right. Now, what I'm going to do. I got these little cute little, just little pieces of foliage. Pop those in there as little sprigs. 
popping out. And then we might be close to being done. I think the, the last few pieces I want to do is I do have some rocks. So I do want to add some rocks in there. And those were just, that was a giant container I got from Walmart. All right, tweezers coming in to help. I need to figure out where I was going to put this. There we go. Because I picked where it's picked where you wanted to go, not me. Let's decide to pop there, and we're going to say yes. That works. I'm going to do one more in the corner over here, I think. Thank you. And I am happy how balanced it's turning out. I mean, like, it's nice enough that, too, like, in the center here, that if you need to add a little theater bowl on the bottom or something like that, you do have space. And we do sell magnetic theater bowls, too, if you guys need that for putting in the enclosure. I do like the magnetic ones only because the fact that you can get that up by the spider. I have one, um, I have one spider that he does not come out of his cloud hide. He freaking loves it. Which, great, like, I'm actually glad that that's, like, probably the one dude that, like, is in his enclosure. Um, but I had to put a feeder right next to his hide so that way he would actually eat. And it worked. It's funny because I caught him with him. He looked surprised. But, yeah. All right, guys. Let's get to the rocks. And I think we might start wrapping things up. I don't even know how long we've been at this. Right, so we got some different shades in here. Got some blacks. I got some different colors to make it pop a little bit more. Do some here. All right. Oh, Amy, that's so sweet. Should I should share the link to this? video on a card when you saw this enclosure what fun memento to go with the sale that was actually a really cool idea i like that maybe like a as seen on youtube <laughs> as seen on tv but as seen on youtube there you go that one upside down glue up did not actually glue down there i go you see that i'm starting to and some of the little, it's been four years I have. So we gain the rocks in there. I lose track of time when I start decorating this stuff, guys. I appreciate you all sticking in with me and I hope you're enjoying all this. And I'm a live one in a while and this being my first one on YouTube. I'm just kind of putting it all on that one side just to fill up some space. Oh, oh that did not. I want that one on my finger instead. <laughs> I have kind of figured out QR codes, but not well enough to like produce a lot of them. I have like a couple for my shop. Um, we need to figure this out a little bit more. Okay. Just try. Drop that. There we go. For those that don't know, Chimunk Attic is my husband that just hopped into chat. Make a quick little sly appearance. He is a quiet person in the back, in the background, but I love him. All right, last rock. All right, I'm going to fix the shelf. All right, I'm going to call it quits before I start going overboard. I find that I could keep adding it, but then it just starts getting more and more cluttered. And I think we're going to call this done.
Let's drain off that shelf. All right. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, Amy. You guys are awesome. So this is the outcome. I don't think I need to add anything more to it. What do you guys think? This is actually better on the screen. So we got that window ledge back here where we added the flowers. We got the succulent hide. We got the new shelf in here. So that has just one of the little decorations glued on top. And then we got all the decor on the bottom. I'm pretty happy with this. All right. So, like I said, I will take photos of this. This one is not mine that I'm keeping. This one I will gladly make available to someone that wants it. So I'll have this up on my Etsy later on tonight. Um, but all pieces that are 3D printed are available currently in my shop. Um, and then if it's not sold by next Sunday, or no, Saturday is the next expo. So by next week, then it's coming with me to Scott's expo too and uh, see if it'll sell there. But I think other than that, we are done. Maybe we should do that. You're so sweet. You guys are awesome. I love all the feedback. You guys are amazing. Thank you for jumping on so late. We had to do it after the kiddo went down for bed, so I really appreciate it. All right. I'm ending the stream. Love you guys. Have a good night.